today i have a best class setup for the ak-47 so here is an example of a class setup that i do recommend to you guys to use when you're using this class setup i highly recommend playing a little bit passive aggressive you definitely do not want to rush too hard especially around those tight corners when you're going up against the likes of any smg in general they are definitely going to outgun you in those close quarter combats because the aim down sight speed of this weapon is actually pretty slow that's why you got to keep your distance and try to engage in medium and long range gunfights i do have to make an announcement i am going to be live streaming again on twitch so if you're interested in joining the streams and checking it out just stopping by or whatever say what's up i will have the link down below in the description so go ahead hit that follow button tune in whenever you can say what's up say hello so let's talk about the ak-47 now the ak-47 is a high damage weapon and for the damage profiles it's a 56 damage to the head and a 42 damage to the chest and 35 damage to the stomach so this right here already tells you that you need to aim for either the chest or the head ideally now this translates into three shots at the body from 5 to 70 meters now for headshots it's going to be a two shot kill from 5 to 70 meters it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward it's literally only two shots to the head from those ranges now if you add on stopping power it's going to be two shots to the body from 5 to 70 meters so this is absolutely insane and if you're having trouble dropping people or if you want to just be able to win more gunfights a lot more frequently i would highly recommend putting on stopping power so you can reduce the shots it takes to kill now if you're curious about headshots and stopping power there actually is no change it's still going to be a two shot kill to the head all right so let's talk about the rounds per minute now you may be asking me like why do i need to know what the rounds per minute is well when you're talking about rounds per minute it's basically the rate of fire and how fast the weapon shoots its bullets out so this could actually be a very good thing or a bad thing depending on what that statistic is so for example like the p90 it takes like six shots to kill from a certain range which is absolutely abysmal and you'll probably get a lot of hit markers but it has a really high fire rate and the time to kill at certain distances are very very minimal so that means that you would melt enemies regardless because of its very high fire rate now for the ak-47 for example it's got a 555 rate of fire so this is actually pretty bad and the time to kill is going to be very slow so the time to kill is going to be 216 milliseconds for body shots at any range between 5 to 70 meters and for headshots it dramatically reduces to 108 milliseconds from 5 to 70 meters so right away this tells you that there's going to be a lot of pre-aiming involved as well as trying to anticipate the opponent's movement because if you're able to anticipate the opponent's movement and pre-aim around those corners and kill them before they get a chance to aim in and shoot at you you're going to be at a great advantage with the two to three shot kill so one notable attachment is the 5.45 by 39 millimeter mags this is a magazine that increases your fire rate as well as your aiming recoil control but the cons are damage and your range so let's go in depth about this real quick so the fire rate does get increased to 17 percent which is not worth it in my opinion because the damage and the range does get affected so from it being a three shot kill from 5 to 45 meters it now becomes a four shot kill from that same exact range as well as it drops off to five shots to kill from 50 to 70 meters so it basically decreases the range by 36 percent which i deem not worth using at all so I did mention that this weapon is best used for medium to long range because of its very slow aim down sight speed. Now the base aim down sight speed of the AK-47 is at 300 milliseconds, which is pretty slow when you compare it to SMGs in the game. And with the attachments that I do recommend that brings the aim down sight speed down to 264 milliseconds or 36% faster. It is faster than the base, but not fast enough to compete against SMGs. So this is exactly why I'm stressing not to play up close and personal because you will lose those gunfights all right so let's talk about recoil real quick now as you can see the recoil of pretty much the base weapon versus all the attachments that claim to reduce that recoil the recoil pattern is pretty much the same it just goes literally straight up now i did find something very interesting and with one of the attachments that i do recommend which is the 8.1 inch compact barrel 
the negative of the recoil control on this attachment is actually pretty bad the bullet travel goes a lot higher when you have this attachment on so in order to counteract that i do recommend putting on the compensator because the compensator will reduce that bullet travel going upwards and it will help you get a lot more accurate shots so now i want to go over some notable attachments that did stand out to me so the spetsnaz elite is a barrel it's a heavyweight barrel used by special forces has increased muzzle velocity and improved range with additional weight now the pro is damage range and bullet velocity and your con is aim down side speed now the very interesting thing about this this attachment actually increases the shots to kill at 75 meters to four shots versus no attachments at three shots to kill at the same exact range i have no idea why this is it might be a bug that infinity ward needs to explore and fix because it should not increase the amount of shots it takes to kill from that range now going back to the 8.1 inch compact barrel that i do want to point out is that it actually takes four shots at 55 meters and out this does decrease your range by 21 percent but it also does increase your movement by two percent so that two percent movement speed is actually worth it in my opinion because it is actually noticeable now that decrease in range is nothing to be alarmed about because if you're playing normal multiplayer maps about 50 meters of engagements is enough to still get that three shot kill especially if you're using stopping power it brings that down to two shots to kill so that's just something i wanted to point out in case you guys were wondering about how much does this really affect your range another attachment that i did want to go over was the tack laser now there isn't really anything groundbreaking about it we all know what the tack laser does and why it's beneficial but for this specific class i chose not to use tack laser because since we're playing from medium to long ranges and we're pre-aiming constantly our laser is going to get exposed and that's why i felt it's not necessary because while i was testing out different attachments i saw in my kill cam that i died because the enemy saw where my green laser was coming from and he anticipated my movement so that deemed it not worth using so that's why i don't recommend putting on the tack laser on a long range weapon such as the ak-47 for the last and final attachment i wanted to go over it was the skeleton stock so this one will give you a 9.8 percent faster aim down sight strafe speed so this means that in those gunfights when you're strafing left and right it's going to be a lot noticeable and actually a lot more beneficial for you to win those gunfights because you're going to be a lot of a harder target to hit for the enemy because he can't really lock onto you as well because you're moving left and right while you're aiming down sights in those gunfights and it also does give you a 12.5 percent faster aim down sight speed which also does help our cause in winning more gunfights go ahead and recap just every single attachment that i do recommend on the ak-47 starting with the muzzle and we're going to be using the compensation again to combat that vertical recoil of the weapon when we put on that 8.1 inch compact barrel it is going to be very noticeable so you got to put on the compensator to be able to dramatically reduce that bullet travel moving on to barrel we got the 8.1 inch compact barrel this will give you a faster aim down sight speed as well as faster movement speed now we did talk about the con of it decreasing your range at 21 percent and it's going to be about four shots to kill from about 55 meters onward make sure to stay within that 5 to 50 meter range so that you can keep that three shot kill potential okay moving on to the skeleton stock gonna give us a faster aim down sight speed as well as an aim down sight strafe speed and will give the enemy a harder time to lock onto you because you're moving that much faster than they are all right so moving on the perk we're using sleight of hand now the base ak-47 does have a really fast reload time of 1.2 seconds so this is actually the fastest reload time for all of assault rifles but if we want to put sleight of hand, we're going to dramatically reduce that time down to 0.8 seconds. So this is incredibly fast. Now, if you don't want to use sleight of hand, I also do recommend using the recon perk so that you can see the enemy nameplates from longer ranges. That way you're able to see opponents before they see you because their gamer tag is literally going to show up on top of their heads. But for me personally, I like putting on sleight of hand just in case for the situations where the opponents decide to rush against me and I just want to be ready and locked and loaded for the next gunfight so for the last attachment we've got on the rear grip which is the stippled grip tape this one is going to help us fire our weapons faster after coming from a sprint now i know i did mention that we're going to be playing a little bit more passive aggressively from medium to long ranges so this is not really necessary for the type of play style but this also does help in situations where you are in those close range gunfights in case you do happen to get into them those type of gunfights will happen regardless because like i 
I said, sometimes the enemies will come rushing at you and having more aim down sight speed pros on your side is definitely going to help you be able to compete in those gunfights. So yeah, guys, that's about it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, I would really appreciate a like. If not, it's cool. It's all good. I know who my real supporters are out there and make sure you subscribe if you're new around here and turn on notifications if you already haven't so you never miss another video. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.